Think and Grow Rich for the Modern Reader is a revised version of the classic self-help book by Napoleon Hill, which has been updated by the Napoleon Hill Foundation to suit a contemporary audience while maintaining the core principles of the original text. The book presents the idea that success, particularly financial success, can be achieved through careful cultivation of specific habits and attitudes. At the center of this process is the need to develop a very clear and focused desire for what one wants to achieve. Hill stresses this as the starting point of all achievement. This desire cannot be a mere wish, but should be a burning desire, which becomes an obsession that one plans for and works toward until it becomes reality. Hill outlines several key principles for success, which include 1. Faith a strong belief in one's purpose and plans. Hill suggests that faith is a state of mind which can be induced by affirmations or repeated instructions to the subconscious mind. By nurturing faith, one can condition their mind to believe in the possibility of their success. 2. Auto-suggestion. The technique of influencing one's subconscious mind through focused and directed self-talk. Hill encourages readers to repeat affirmations related to their goals to boost belief and focus. 3. Specialized knowledge, gaining expertise in a specific area. Hill argues that knowledge alone isn't power, but rather the application of knowledge. It's important, therefore, to continually learn and apply knowledge toward achieving one's goals. 4. Imagination, the workshop where plans are created. Hill posits that the imagination is what transforms well-defined desires into their physical or monetary equivalent. He splits the imaginative faculty into two forms— Synthetic imagination, which arranges old concepts into new combinations, and creative imagination, which deals with the hitherto unseen and unknown. 5. Organized planning, the crystallization of desire into action. For any goal to be achieved, it must be backed by a practical plan, which is persistently followed. Hill advises the creation of a master mind group, which is a group of people with complementary skills collaborating for mutual success. 6. Decision. The Mastery of Procrastination. Hill speaks of decision-making as a critical aspect of success, emphasizing that successful individuals make decisions promptly and change them slowly, if at all. 7. Persistence. The sustained effort necessary to induce faith. No success is possible without persistence, which Hill describes as a state of mind that can be cultivated. It blends with other aspects such as willpower and desire. 8. The Power of the Mastermind. The Driving Force. Hill emphasizes the synergy that comes from working in a group. This collective power, a mastermind, is an important factor in attaining success. The 9. The Mystery of Sex Transmutation Channeling one's desire for sexual expression into higher outputs such as creativity, enthusiasm, and energy to achieve professional and artistic success. 10. The Subconscious Mind The connecting link between the finite mind of man and infinite intelligence. Hill suggests that the subconscious mind acts as a bridge between the tangible world of thoughts and the spiritual realm, influencing both the conscious mind and the universal mind. 11. The Brain and Broadcasting and Receiving Station for Thought Hill discusses how the human brain operates on frequencies which can be attuned to pick up vibrations, thoughts sent by other brains. 12. The Sixth Sense, the Door to the Temple of Wisdom Hill introduces the concept of the sixth sense, an inner guiding mechanism that notifies one of impending dangers and opportunities. This is where the combination of all other principles leads to the ability to harness one's intuition. Culminating these principles, the book acknowledges the presence of fears that can act as hurdles to success. Hill discusses six basic fears, the fear of poverty, criticism, ill health, loss of love, old age, and death contextualizing them as states of mind that one can overcome with discipline and practice. What makes Think and Grow Rich for the modern reader particularly compelling for contemporary readers is that while the text holds true to the original published in 1937, the language has been updated to be more accessible for the 21st century audience without diluting Hill's message. Beyond the direct application to financial success, the book's principles are shown to be applicable to any form of personal achievement or self-improvement, relevant to anyone looking to enhance their situation through disciplined, focused action. Hill insists on the idea that the key to success lies within the power of the individual's mind. 
that the mind is capable of turning desires into their physical or monetary equivalent through belief and sustained effort. Think and Grow Rich, for the modern reader, aims to inspire with examples, stories, and revised strategies that have stood the test of time to deliver a timeless message, ensuring that Hill's success philosophy continues to influence and guide those seeking a positive change in their lives. One of the significant aspects of Hill's philosophy is the emphasis on the practice of putting these principles into daily action rather than just understanding them intellectually. Hill advocates for a proactive, disciplined lifestyle that integrates positive habits, continuous learning, and the ability to stay focused on goals in spite of setbacks and distractions. The book also addresses the concept of financial gain, not just as an end in itself, but as a measure of the service one has offered. Hill underscores the importance of ethical success, suggesting that riches obtained without consideration of their impact on others will not lead to true happiness or satisfaction. In conclusion, Think and Grow Rich, for the modern reader, presents a framework of personal development and achievement that stresses the importance of a positive mindset, clearly defined goals, planning, persistence, and cooperation with others. By embracing and applying these principles, the book asserts that anyone can overcome their limitations and create the life they desire. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.